and welcome to episode 35, our finale of the Timberborn update for Water Beaver mod playthrough here in cycle 44, day 13. And yes, this will be the last episode, uh, mostly because we've done just about everything we could reasonably do without just waiting uh, cycles and cycles for stuff to uh, get built that hasn't been built or do a whole bunch of research or what have you. But don't worry, we're going to get a lot done today still, starting with a little bit of problem solving for our thirst situation. We've got a lot of thirsty beavers if we go and take a look at our uh, our population well-being. About half of them claim to be thirsty, and about a third of them claim to be hungry. So uh, clearly we have done something wrong. I know, shocker, absolutely, uh, completely surprised here. So let's go ahead and pause, take a second, get our bearings, look around, and try to figure out exactly what it is that we're going to be able to take care of. Uh, I'm going to hide uh, just a couple of these things so we can see a little bit better. Uh, but last time, we did get grist mill and wine cellar running. Uh, I did pause this because it was using quite a bit of water. Uh, but we can make chestnut beer with this, which is uh, one of the last remaining, I guess, quote-unquote easy foods and drink items that we hadn't messed with yet. But that was one of the things we did in the time lapse at the end of the last episode, and probably one of the contributors to us having only 211 water uh, map wide in our main district. We only have 115, and we've got 460 beavers. So clearly, you can see how that's not ideal. And one of the things that's oh hello Bloom, uh, one of the things that's really hurting us is how big this district is, and. Uh, how far the beavers have to go to drink water. And at this point, there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. We made our bed, we have to lie in it. Uh, but one of the things I think that's happening is that all of these buildings are marked as prioritized by haulers. And uh, if you remember how the water beaver mod works, it's that uh, the only beavers that work as haulers are ones that live in a specific housing that is designated as a place of employment for those. So our pit and ladder lodges, and the tower segments uh, for those, and there's also a couple of other uh, small houses that can be just for haulers as well. But I actually don't remember. Okay, yeah, this this one's for haulers, and then we have maybe, yeah, maybe one or two more of these. Yeah, a couple just kind of sprinkled throughout the map. So we can't just solve the problem by building more haulers because that's going to make us have more beavers more spots for them and all that fun stuff. So if we take a look at how our jobs are divided up, just in the Beaverburg 12 district, uh, we have, we go to, uh, where are those tower lodges, pit and ladder lodges? Yeah, so we actually have 10 and then another 38. So we have 48 haulers just in the pit and ladder lodges. And then uh, our two-story, uh, if they are, yeah, right here. So we've we've got 50 some beavers dedicated as haulers. We're not hurting for hauler employment. The problem is all of the beavers that are thirsty, let's just pick a random one here, uh, get a debuff to movement speed of 25%, which is really not ideal. It's It's not that terrible in the grand scheme of things because most of these guys have a buff the well-being anyway but uh effectively like this guy teal mcclanahan here um is at negative 10 percent but there are others that i'm sure are much worse yeah see this guy's at negative oh, hello john snow uh negative 35 percent because why why yuck what, what what in the world is that i i don't know what causes yuck but apparently it's uh substantially harming oh movement speed and this guy minus five oh plus 30 hey fracture 23 you're living the good life over here oh because you're not thirsty all right well i guess that's what happens but uh point being it doesn't really matter how many beavers we have working as haulers if they're all slower or at least not being boosted in speed uh so clearly that has caused a lot of our issues plus you know we're just not producing enough we got these things also, they don't have enough gears, and they don't have gears because da, 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 the haulers can't take the gears fast enough because the haulers are slow. So you, you can see very quickly how this this just absolutely spirals because everything is bottlenecked behind uh, distribution and transportation of goods. That's a core function of the game. It is what it is. 
but we do have 155 gears. We're not wanting for gears. At least I don't think we are. Yeah, so we have 155. We just the, the haulers can't take the uh, can't take the stuff everywhere where they're supposed to go. Like Raymond Phillips over here is making pomade gears, but he's all the way over here. He's starving. He's got to go get something to eat. But he's not thirsty. At least he's got that going for him. Uh, I don't know where he's going to get food. I think the beavers choose the most obtuse, horrible pathing possible to get uh, access to their food or whatever it is that they're doing. Because where, where are you going, dude? You passed so many different things to eat. Okay, so what what's stored in here? Weird Udon. You went all the way to the other side of the map to get Weird Udon. All right, man. Do what, do what you want, I guess. So anyway, all this to say, there's absolutely nothing we can do. We just have to let them figure themselves out. Pause buildings that use water, which I've more or less done, or at least ones that use a lot of water. I can't really uh, take a look at everything. But yeah, uh, I've paused in the time lapse last episode. I did pause a bunch of stuff that was using water or could use water or require a lot of transportation that would cause the hauler staff to go do other stuff. So, I mean, there's really, there's really nothing we can do except wait this out. So we'll go ahead and triple speed it. Eventually the water number will continue to go up. These are working. They're just not fully optimized because well, the haulers can't get to anything. So uh, it's just one of those things we gotta let it go. We just have to have to let it happen and try to make sure it doesn't get measurably worse. The bad thing, well, the other bad thing, is that we're at the end of a temperate cycle, and it's really not going to be that easy for us to uh, us to uh, really recover very nicely because of the way this is uh, unfortunately set up here. So there could be a lot of suffering, a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth, etc. Uh, so just just be forewarned. It's just the way it goes. Meanwhile, in Bramble Dam, there is no water, or essentially no water. These guys just have to keep pumping away, and uh, so on and so forth. There's plenty to get done here. So, it, you know, it just, it is what it is. You're never really going to be perfect, but boy, is this messed up. <laughs> I think one of the things that's also kind of contributing negatively to how Bramble Dam is operating is I believe we are exporting all of the water or at least a lot of it. I can't ever. Yeah, we are force importing. So let's um, let's not do that. Let's just let them let them do what they got to do. Bramble Dam can keep their own water, at least for right now. And that should solve a pretty decent chunk of problems. And then hopefully, hopefully we'll get stuff figured out. I would imagine that the distillery is also just taking unbelievable amounts of water when we don't have to have it be like that. So, yep, yep, turn that off. Because the distillery is capable of just importing normal amounts of water. I would hope, I say, as they have almost none. But, uh, you know, that's the way it is. Sometimes, sometimes that's just how it goes. Well, they're still importing, they're not force importing, but they still have stuff to drink. And they also have wine, so um, they can drink that to slake their thirst. Probably going to be drunk, but you know what? They're beavers, and there's no, uh, there's no rule that says the beavers can't drink wine. So I guess we can let them do what they want to do. Yeah, meanwhile, this just continues to be just such a cycle of problems begetting problems over and over and over again. Just the way it goes, friends. Just the way it goes. Not really anything we can do about it. So let's talk briefly about uh, some of the other things I would like to get to in uh, this final episode while we wait for the beavers to figure their lives out. Uh, I will time lapse through the drought. There is no point in trying to do anything while the beavers are getting uh, all of their stuff sorted out or dying of thirst and uh, being reborn to get thirsty again. So uh, by the time we're done with this whole uh, diatribe, the uh, the drought will be over and we'll move on with our lives. So I will uh, I'll put this in a fun place, I guess, and we'll uh, we'll just kind of watch them zip around doing whatever they so choose. 
So, uh, people in the comments had a bunch of good suggestions. I can't, unfortunately, do all of them, but I would like to see if we can do some of the other faction trading, at least just to get a little bit of that going, uh, get some of the new fun stuff. I know if we trade with the Polar Beavers, we can get ice, which will allow us to do some of the stuff for the medical clinic, even if that isn't really working right. Uh, we could get into that. There's also the big curiosity with the uh, the elevator to the abyss. I have no idea what all that entails. But if we have the resources, we have the ability to actually do it, then I think we should give it a shot. At least uh, try to get something interesting accomplished and uh, salvage the rest of this while these beavers are figuring their lives out. But like I said, uh, we're just going to time lapse through the rest of this drought. And then we will pick back up after hopefully the beavers have some sort of way to solve their problems or just uh, make themselves disappear and get replaced with beavers that are no longer thirsty because apparently that's just how the game works. So that being said, next time you hear from me will be at the beginning of the next cycle. All right, folks, cycle 45, day one. I don't know how long of a time lapse that's going to end up being in actuality in the video, but in real life it was about 25 minutes. So uh, here's where we are. We have 6,000 water, and now the beavers are hungry. <laughs> but uh, there's only a couple that are still thirsty. And, uh, well, I'm assuming... I, I wasn't watching this the whole time, but I'm assuming uh, most of the ones that died were probably because of thirst. But here comes more water. Our uh, blueberries are still fine, contrary to popular belief. They are not going to die in normal mode for not having water during an entire drought. But everything seems to be hunky-dory as far as water is concerned. I did pause a bunch of the buildings. I don't know if I showed you this or not, but I paused all of these primitive smelters and a whole bunch of other stuff. And now we have beavers that don't have any jobs. So... Uh, one of the first things we will do is turn some of these back on. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about the high temperature foundry just quite yet, but uh, we're going to need some metal blocks if we're going to be building this other fun stuff. So I will turn that factory back on. I will turn that factory back on because this, this one's making drill bits and we are out of those uh, now at this point. And then we can turn some of our food stuff back on like the greater cooking tent and the advanced mushroom grower because uh, we are running pretty low on food but uh, it's not going to be that big of a problem because we have plenty of stuff growing and we do have these hydroponic farms that are going the whole time as well uh, just chewing up logs so everything is looking pretty nice we'll check out how Bramble Dam is hanging up yeah they got a thousand water so I think all we had to do was oh okay this is going to die okay that's kind of a uh, Kind of a shame, but uh, you know how it goes. I don't know, maybe maybe this will actually splash. Yeah, we're going to save most of this spatter dock. Maybe. Maybe. Well, now I'm not so, uh, not so convinced. Well, for a while it seemed like we were going to be okay. Where is the rest of this water actually going? It's not just uh, popping in here. There we go. Yeah, yep, some of these were already drying out, but that is just the way the cookie crumbles. You win some, you lose some, etc., so on and so forth. But as long as we're not having to replant every single one of these, I think that is a win as far as we are concerned. So that's looking good. It would have been really bad if this one went out. But we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we will uh, move on from there. So... Uh, we have these landing pads right here. We have all these other beaver factions that I'm just so incredibly curious about. Uh, obviously, jungle beavers is what we've been trading with. We can also trade with the iron teeth. And we actually can make the glass to get the coffee and the uh, deluxe stew or ultra stew, whatever the thing is called, to get beaver bones. I don't really know what we do with those, but... Uh, Oh, I didn't even read the text. That's funny. Uh, the Iron Teeth are passionate about all things industry. They won't trade their coffee with anyone, but are so desperate to lay their paws on glass that we might have a chance. They actually hate to trade and will only give the bones of their dead as some sort of incomprehensible insult. That's hilarious. Um, and then we have the Island Beavers, which will give us coconuts and looks like some shells. 
Uh, we have plenty of wine. We could easily trade that to them. And the chestnut beer uh, we can start making as soon as I turn that on. Uh, it says, Island beavers are lazy hippies who spend their days partying on the beach. Trade them booze for their coconuts or preci precious seashells. Say that one five times fast. Then we have the polar beavers. The rustic polar beavers live in and explore the ruins of some strange frozen circular human city. They have no real agriculture, so they really want stuffy food, uh, which would be strong alcohol and the nasty whatever stew thing. But that will give us different... Uh, different kinds of cold things. And then we have the folktales. Uh, it says, our cousins the folktales live a simple life. They are only interested in tasty foods in exchange for their own tasty food. If you bring them something amazing enough, they might introduce you to their weird secret hobby. So uh, if we uh, send them 25 blocks of ice, they'll give us five, I don't know, ancient demon scrolls. I don't know, we might not want to mess with that. But uh, I do like the idea of getting those maple pastries which uh, I believe, uh, if the pictures are to be believed, we can do uh, by sending the mushroom stew and some sort of chestnut thing. I don't know. But I think a good first one to do would be the polar beavers because that is going to give us access to the ice. And the ice is something that we can uh, put in our uh, clinic to make frost balm, which is minty bamboo shoots, which would require us to grow the giant bamboo and then ice blocks and basic balm. We don't have any of that, so I'm going to put that back on surgery kits and antibiotics, etc. So we actually have uh, some of our medical beds have been stocked with some of these recovery items. Obviously not the ones we can't make, but uh, we have made some sort of nice progress with that. And we have all this space back here. So I think it would make sense for us to go ahead and build a couple of these balloon landing pads. But let's check and see what kind of blueprints we have. Good, I have 10. That's going to be plenty. So uh, this is a... Oh, can't see anything. Say 5x5 five five building is going to require us to have uh, space to put these things on. So can I... Can I put those on top of... I can. And these are, in fact, uh, four-way compatible... I don't really need to have these in a specific order or orientation, but I uh, end up just doing it anyway. So that's fine. Let's build this here, and then we'll come on over here with our polar beavers, unlock out with 500 science, and build that like so. So, so, so. Uh, we're going to get our uh, ice blocks by feeding them awful stew, which I believe is one of those things that can be made in a cooking tent but let's check our recipes again yes it is all right so all we have to do is make awful stew uh which is looks like uh what are those things called the brambles sunflowers pine oh that does sound awful sawdust what kind of kind of sadist is, is gonna eat this well i guess we'll find out i'm just gonna put this right here set that to be to be awful stew and hope to god that none of my beavers eat it i really hope they don't but this will be the only purpose of that will be to send over to the polar beavers frozen human meat um excuse you let's not do that what can i even do with frozen human meat where do they find for oh, i don't i probably don't want to ask any questions uh, underground cold storage, if we had 50 ice blocks, um, I don't really know what goes in this, but, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll see, depends on what we can, uh, get accomplished here. So we have 20, this is how wild these population swings are, and we have, uh, oh, we have 21 incapacitated beavers, it's probably because they are, uh, Probably because they have severe injuries and diseases. Why are these buildings flooded? Oh, okay, that's that. All right. I was going to be just a tad worried about that, but I guess we're going to be fine. So what are we waiting on here? Some logs? Okay. That's about to be finished. And then, of course, I uh, need one log here for the awful stew. Please do not eat this. We'll just use it for trade. And these guys will take care of that just as soon as this is all done and dusted there. So, 
other things we wanted to get to. I know we have over here our little area that we can shove stuff down into the abyss. We have the science for it. Um, we would have to process some of our large uh, giant tree logs, which I believe... Yeah, we can stop setting those into logs. We can just turn this into... Uh, well, right now, nothing, but then we're going to want to make giant half logs because that's what's required to uh, build the elevator to the abyss. I guess we got most of our uh, most of our giant logs sawn through during the drought while I wasn't paying attention, so that's on me. But we do have giant sequoias that are in various states of growing. Uh, should have four of these big logs in just a little bit. The rest of these, well, we may or may not get to those today. So... I don't know that we're actually going to be able to build the elevator to the abyss unless I decide to do another uh, crazy time lapse or something, but let's not uh, not hold our breaths too hard here. So these guys are waiting on awful stew. They need 50 to give us 25 ice blocks, and it takes 72 hours. So these guys making the awful stew, I really hope nobody eats this, but also you kind of can't... Uh, Kind of can't control what they will and will not do. Hopefully, they have better things to eat and won't mess with this. Uh, but they do need sawdust, which we have a decent bit. We don't have as much as I thought we did. And water, which we all know how that goes. But let's double check. Uh, yeah, let's turn this uh, wood burner off so we don't waste sawdust. Now that we can actually, you know, kind of do something with it. And we'll have to leave this alone for probably a pretty good while. But that doesn't mean we can't build more of these and start trading with other factions. Uh, if we can fit this somewhere, we will. So I'll put one of those there. I'm not even going to bother trying to rotate different ways. Uh, Island beavers could be nice to have some coconuts. We have plenty of wine. Uh, iron teeth. Coffee could be a fun thing. I actually don't know what coffee does in the... Uh, in the water beaver mod, so maybe we want to mess with the, uh, wait, why is that one 200 science? This one's one, okay, whatever. Um, but coffee sounds like a, a fun thing to provide for our, uh, for our beavers, but we do only have 32 glass, so we might not want to focus on that. Uh, Island beavers for coconuts probably is going to be one of our better trades, uh, assuming we can figure out what we want to do with the coconuts. I am assuming there's some sort of, uh, some sort of a food kind of thing we can do with those, but it could just be one of those uh, interesting things that you can just kind of do. Outside of that, uh, folktales to get the pastries is probably the uh, only other thing we can really get to, except uh, not really sure what the picture is on the top left of the tree. I mean, we'll find out when I unlock this and I place it on a landing pad, but right now we don't really have to worry about that. I do appreciate that the balloons are all different colors. If you can... Uh, well, you can't see the other guys because they left, but that makes it kind of interesting, kind of fun to uh, play with, mess around with. Yeah, so with the revelation that the elevator to the abyss is going to take a lot of these large logs that we probably aren't going to have, I don't think we're going to get to that, but who knows? Never say never. There's always an opportunity to do some of this other stuff. So I am just so curious so curious about the awful stew. I uh, really need to make sure that they get uh, they get this stuff popped in correctly. Again, I really hope nobody eats this because that would be just awful. Ha, awful stew. Okay, they're putting it in here. And as soon as we have 50, then uh, we can come back 72 hours later. And I think that will work out just fine. Now, let's put in a ladder here so we can get down... Come on, let me click. Thank you. And that's going to get us in here. We just have to decide what uh, beaver faction to trade with there. I Again, I don't know what uh, the other kind of stew is. I guess we could check our cooking tents and uh, look for the different things. Obviously, that's awful stew. Uh, the cooking house can make awful stew as well. Um... I, I don't really know why that's option in both of those, but that's all right, I suppose. Uh, it looks like that is sunflower stew. I don't know, but it, it, it gets made in the mechanized kitchen house is what I was getting at. 
uh, same as the mushroom stew. So if we come over here to, that's not it, right here, this is actually paused. Oh, vegetable stew, that's what it's called. So we can unpause this and uh, maybe think about putting another one of these in. This is holding chestnut flour. That's a lot of screw press axles. Okay. But uh, if we're making a vegetable stew, we probably should also have one of these to make the other stuff. The way this is laid out, though, I would have to do some sort of advanced nonsense to stack something else on top of it. Uh, is this a waterproof building? It Watertight building. I am sorry, not waterproof. Yeah, it means I have to stack it on top of another watertight building. But I can't because of the chimneys here. I, although that is something I think that has been fixed uh, for update 5. Again, we're on a very old version of the game at this point. Months and months and months old. So don't worry about that. I think there's going to be a space up here where we could put a... Uh, Another one of these mechanized kitchen houses. Do we have one of the pots? Medium cauldrons. I see small. I see seven medium. Okay. So all I have to do is find a place to shove this guy. Um, yeah, that's not gonna not gonna work. That would work if a hot would work if I can get a power in the back. So let's let's do that. That's actually probably a good spot to uh to put that. We will uh, go ahead, since it's nighttime, just pop that in like so, make that a priority to build, and then we can uh, put the rest in place. And that should give us exactly where we want it to be. All in the name of trading with the Polk Tales to get some delicious maple pastries for our 700 beavers that can't all possibly hope to get one. All right, somebody come build this real quick so we can do what we got to do. He says as no one comes over here. Okay, there we go. Now oh, they got all three. That's looking nice. Uh, somebody left a comment said, hey, you could build some more crappy windmills. Uh, but uh, we kind of can't the way this is set up. Uh, we would have to build uh, platforms to come off the side with these overhang walkways. But that's not going to give us enough clearance. We would have to take all these down and move them over. Move this over one and then build platforms and then do all that. And again, in the last episode of the series, I don't, I just don't think it's worth the time, unfortunately. As well as uh, some other like cool designs, different ideas, uh, utilities and stuff people have come up with that I am very interested to show you. But uh, since this is the last episode of the series, rather... Uh, would not be the best use of our time, but we will dive deep into some of the stuff in the update five series. I just have to decide when I'm going to end up starting that. So uh, do keep your eyes peeled for that. There is a user in the Timberborn discord who has put together a really, really cool website. Uh, I will try to remember to put a link in the description and a uh, thing on screen here. But uh, basically what it is, is it's a database that you can look at uh, either online or in the game or whatever where it will do uh different buildings different recipes uh supplies to build the buildings stuff that they can store etc and it's fully uh fully searchable they got different stuff for every faction and it's translated into a bunch of different languages so i thought that was really cool did want to remember to mention that to you guys uh but that it's not something we're going to use in this video but it will be in update five i will do my best to remember to uh, take advantage of that because there's so much stuff to keep up with and it's very very hard to uh to remember what everything does especially in a huge crazy mod like the uh water beavers but um let's turn this into vegetable stew i think is what i needed to do uh this is making oh that was already making vegetable stew oh, yeah let's let's make this into mm, no this one should be vegetable stew this one should be mushroom stew because we're actually making mushrooms over here yeah, let's do that. Hopefully that ends up being a little bit easier. Um, did we ever get... Oh, yeah, okay. So we have 25, 25 ice blocks. Oh, you know what? I hope these don't melt. I hope these don't melt without me having somewhere to store. I mean, it would make perfect sense that they would because it's ice. But uh, maybe that's... Maybe that's why this has to be, uh, has to be here. 
Yeah, yeah, because you're gonna have a uh, gonna have to have fifty fifty ice to build it. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I probably eh, I have a thousand science for this. Do I have the other stuff? I have uh, metal. I've got clay. Yeah, I got all the pieces for this. Why not? We got the science. Unsurprisingly, it is literally underground storage. Um, but that's also literally what it is. Yeah, and we store ice blocks, and we store frozen human meat here, so we'll just set this to ice blocks and let these guys take care of it. Obviously, just because the balloon is here does not mean we're trading. It's, a, it's an animation. Uh, we are waiting to get the uh, uh, rest of this done. So that should give them time to build this, and then, well, obviously, minus the you know 50 ice blocks required to build it, we will have to do uh, another trade of awful stew but uh, we'll let them take care of that. We got to decide what we're doing here. I know we are making the uh, vegetable stew and the mushroom stew, but they're going to go through that pretty quick because that is a uh, pretty desirable thing. So let's unlock the folktales and we'll pop them in here. And then <laughs> curse scrolls of forbidden magic. That's what it's called. We're going to trade for some maple pastries. I don't feel like tempting whatever that is. At least not yet. No, we'll get that, get that all figured out. Hopefully... Hopefully, instead of eating the mushroom stew, they'll bring it over here to be loaded into the balloon to trade with the folktales. And we'll see what happens there. So we need 200 logs and then the 50 ice blocks, uh, no surprise here, plus 80 flanks for the underground cold storage. Again, we can't have the ice blocks, obviously, until they come back. So that will be something we have to get to at a later point in time. But I'm just so curious about the elevator to the abyss. I, I really, I seriously doubt we can make it work in this video, but 68%, 73, 48, 71. You know, man, if I wanted, if I really, and I mean really wanted to, I could have the game run for four hours and then, <laughs> and then we can go in and do that. But in, I, I don't think that's the best use of my time and I don't think it's the best use of yours either. Even if I just time-lapse this, uh, there's... There's enough going on here. We don't have to do everything. Although it is interesting to see all this different stuff. So you might be saying, what can we do while we're waiting to trade all of this stuff? And the answer is there's still a lot of well-being we haven't gotten to. Uh, obviously, carousel, uh, mud bath, etc. We could easily build. We do some more decorations. Uh, we haven't built any monuments. Uh, we just seem to have kind of a problem with the... Uh, acquisition of logs at times because at one point we were churning through all and I do mean all of our uh, our giant logs to make regular logs planks giant half logs etc so I, I don't think we really want to do that uh, but these guys right here these guys right here definitely uh, definitely need to go somewhere because we're, we're only gonna have so much storage and we really, really could use... So, you know what? Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to be so mad when, I, when we don't finish this and I just wasted the science on it. But I am... I don't think you understand just how paralyzingly curious I am about all this stuff. So, I guess... I guess we can unlock this. Let's also not forget it has to be powered which means we have to bring power over here. Uh, but there's a shaft right there. So again, not going to be that worried about it. I'll just pop this right here. We can just have our thing go right down and just run our uh, power around the outside, as the kids say. I'm sure literally no children in the year of our Lord 2024 are quoting that song, but uh, that's fine. I know the average age of my audience, and most of you are older than me, and that song has been around long enough for me to remember when uh, that was a popular thing. So, I can assure you the Zoomers are not singing that song. If you're a Zoomer and you sing that song, thanks for watching my videos. Also, how did you find out about that? Because I'm pretty sure that song is older than you are. At least most of you. But I digress quite heavily and severely. Let's put in, uh, let's put in our stairs here. I'm just going to have this go down in a regular staircase. There we go. It's it's not likely we can actually use this, but it is what it is. 
our megastructure engineers will finally be able to build one of these, I'm assuming. Uh, is why these guys actually work here. Guys and gals. So, now let's check out how we're looking here. Oh good, that just finished. Uh, mushroom stew and vegetable stew, hopefully, hopefully they can start bringing that stuff over here. Uh, I believe if we check this out. Uh, oh, they're making it. All right. So how about you don't eat the food and instead take it over to the little the little balloon there. Mushroom stew going to do mushroom stew type things. And I guess we'll just have to wait. But over here in polar beaver land, it looks like we're actually, actually halfway to uh, the construction of our underground cold storage thanks to the ice blocks. I don't know if we actually needed to build this. If we didn't, oh well. If we did, good. But no room for regrets here in the final episode. We're just having a good time. Yep, so 14% of the way. Then we'll have ice blocks. And then I guess we uh, guess we just have ice blocks. It stores a thousand of them. And then we can in turn later on trade the ice blocks to the folktales for the forbidden scrolls of cursed magic or whatever. Cursed scrolls of forbidden magic. That probably kind of goes hand in hand either way you want to switch those modifiers around so that's looking okay uh, food wise looking good water wise looking very good 8600 storage let's not forget uh, one of the things we did build last episode was this uh, water storage right here very nice to have access to that our well-being now actually in uh in the regular district is up to 31 i will take that all day long that is absolutely fantastic compared to where we were at the beginning of this episode, I'll tell you what. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't turn on our chestnut beer, because I have this wine cellar paused. Let's unpause it and have it make some chestnut beer. Chestnut flour is stored right here. It's nice and full because we have our grist mill operating. And then this just needs to have water. So let's give it a little bit of a fighting chance. And um, you know what? Now we still we still need chestnut storage, but we can put our water tank. I guess right here is probably fine. We'll just set that to be water storage. Set this to obtain, and then uh, the wine cellar workers don't have to go all over the place to take care of that. So another thing we can just kind of leave alone for a while. See what happens. Okay, good. They're actually bringing the stew over here. And they've actually set out to uh, have maple pastries delivered from our friends at the Polktails. So we're going to have to have a storage for that. Um, pardon the just disaster of this, but I'm sure you understand. That is just how things work here these days. So this I'm going to make a storage for maple pastries. Just so we have somewhere to put those. They come in... Uh, Oh, group of 50. Okay. Yes, I probably should have built a larger storage. No, I'm not going to worry about it because, again, it's the last episode. No room for regrets. Only smiles and dreams. Oh, look, there's a beaver in the basket. That's kind of cool. 48%. And then we'll get that all the way in here. Nice ice storage. And then maybe we uh, later on do some stupid stuff with the Folktales faction here. Uh, but we now have balloons to three other factions. Uh, we just want to trade to the Iron Teeth and the Island Beavers uh, coffee. If we were making enough glass, would be nice. Um, deluxe stew, I don't believe we have enough to really trade. Which I guess is understandable, because what in the world are we going to do with beaver bones? Um, but the Island Beavers, having the, uh, having the coconuts and having the seashells could be a nice thing. I don't know really what you would do with those, but, uh, you know, there's just all sorts of options for stuff. Never want to count something out immediately. Uh, I think the, the human ruins tour, that's kind of funny to, uh, <laughs> kind of funny to, uh, to imagine them going down to those, uh, whatever this thing's called. I can't click on it right now. But let's see, what else can we get to? We do have role-playing games, Satisfied Beavers. That's nice. They actually managed to get their tabletop gaming group to actually meet. That's an accomplishment in and of itself. But the Island Beavers, I think, is going to be our next one to play with. Uh, so we can, if for no other reason, do something with all the wine that we're making that they're clearly not drinking. 
Uh, let's check out how we're looking here in our chestnut beer production. Yep, it is brewing. 11 hours is going to give us 50 units. And then that can go here and then our beavers can drink it because what else are you going to do except drink it? High temperature foundry is currently paused, but we could uh, very easily have this make glass again. It's just uh, methane, which we have 1400 of. It's just, uh, do we, oh, we have 25 extra beavers. Never mind. Guess what? We're going to turn that back on. No reason not to, right? We have a drought coming in 2.4 days. Uh, you might have noticed that this is an operation. They did finally build these gravity batteries, uh, but we haven't quite blasted out all the way down here. We just need to do a little bit more of that. And we should, in theory, be able to have both of uh, both sides of this be at 44,000. That's going to help us a little bit more in a drought since we won't have any water flowing through here. And that is quite nice. So I think at this point we should be just about... Yeah, I got a little less than a day left to uh, get these other 25 ice blocks in. That, of course, is going to uh, put them in the underground cold storage. And then we can have this guy start making frost balm. These guys are making antibiotics. Uh, the surgery kits, of course, use stuff that we have. We don't have a lot of paper, though, uh, is the problem. So if we turned this over into frost balm, we actually don't need the paper. So that is something that would probably be a little bit better for us to uh, be working on. But we also don't have minty bamboo shoots, which, you know, comes from... Uh, where's the bamboo? Yeah, there we go. Unbelievably tall bamboo, which has to be planted by the tree nursery. But it also has to be planted in a little thing of water. So that's going to be fun to figure out. You know, we might as well. Uh, we have our tree nursery right here. They can't actually access any of this unless how big is Alito? Cause that's the only way I can get water in here. Where is that in here? Well, you, Oh, you know, I could have put a water cannon in, but it, I don't think we want to mess with that. The Lido is that size. Okay. So maybe, maybe what we do is I check this again. And then we have uh, a little bit of exploding happen here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, let's play some explosives here. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Uh, we'll put a Lido for the uh, benefit of our uh, our beavers over here in the distillery district, and then we can just grow some unbelievably tall bamboo just because we can. That sounds kind of like a fun thing. Except I just remembered we don't have anywhere to store explosives, so we will have to manually uh, force import that with our trading dialog box. Now, where's my bombs? There we go. Force those. That should be fine. Don't need to have it stored for those, just to uh, blow that up. But, of course, once that happens, we will put our Lido in place, if I can remember where to click for it. There we go. And then the water dump has to be built inside a Lido in uh, this faction, so that should not be uh, that big of a problem. But that will fill up the hole and will give us the opportunity to grow unbelievably tall bamboo. I hope. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll get it. We'll get it figured out. We should now at this point have, yep, there we go, uh, storage for the ice blocks, and they should be on their way uh, with some more of that. Maple pastries. I actually don't think any have come back yet, but they should be pretty soon. And then we'll see what ends up happening there. But the minor burn, major burn, etc. These guys, we have 12 with minor burns, 13. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, we might be able to make a dent with that. Even if these buildings don't actually end up treating anybody, we can make the frost bomb and the frost bomb can end up going in the, uh, the medical bed here. It's not going to tell me. Oh, no, he does have a minor burn. Okay. All right, well, I guess the, the beds work at the very least. So that's uh, that's fun. All right, chestnut beer is being created. Uh, I guess they're just drinking it really, really fast. Either that or that was the first batch, but uh, that's kind of a fun texture. It reminds me of a... If you ever make a really, really good French onion soup and you, you burn the cheese crust on top with like a little, uh, a little blowtorch, 
mm, that is some good stuff. That is some good stuff. Or, you know, you could just put in the broiler like a normal person and not use a, uh, <laughs> not use one of those, one of those blue propane torches with the, uh, the nozzle on the end. I think that's the more fun way, but, uh, probably not advisable as a safety, uh, safety minded thing. Anyway, I digress. That's what that reminded me of. Let's come and check out over here. Do we have any ice blocks in here yet? I think, okay, yeah, they're about halfway through. Yeah, so we'll, we'll store a couple. We'll start making some frost balm for those guys. We actually do have uh, the one more, uh, it's not a nursing license. We have two more nursing licenses. So I could actually build a third one of these because uh, this one's making antibiotics. This one's making frost balm. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll just build another one. Just build another one. This is a watertight building, so it does have to be on top of a watertight building. But uh, I can't, uh, I can't build it on top of that, of course. Is there going to be a good place for me to put this? What's in here? Weird udon. Okay, that's probably not a fantastic place for that, but uh, it is what it is. Gas tank is no methane in it. Um, am I going to be able to get away with this? You know what? I'll just. I'll just build this over here. It doesn't really matter, does it? This could be set to frost bomb. This is making. Oh, that one's making frost bomb. Never mind. This one could be set to surgery kits. And we need to make some more paper. And that was one of the things I was kind of concerned with for a while that we wouldn't be able to make paper. Uh, but clearly it was just an issue of acquiring water, I guess, because I don't have all these things prioritized by hauler so that's working kind of all right now we're now we're cooking i am going to go ahead and thank you for not blowing up i'll put that in just so we can start filling the hole with water ahead of time or else this is just going to take eight hundred thousand years yeah get that going Boom. here we go come on here we go Every little bit counts, and we can go ahead and put these seeds in, even if we can't really do anything with them. Oh, wow, that's huge. Okay. <laughs> well, consider me impressed. I guess I'll just put in a staircase right at the very edge of this. There we go. We'll just do it that way. Seems the easiest thing to do then the unbelievably tall bamboo will be self-contained and they can harvest it. And hopefully uh, we can get some, what are these things? Minty bamboo shoots. There we go. Now the gatherer's flag should be able to reach. I imagine once the stairs are in, that should be fine. All right, so that I'm going to consider a success, at least uh, for right now. Do we have ice blocks? Not yet. 82%. Um, I'm actually not sure that they haven't brought them in here. It looks like they haven't. Well, that's fine. We'll be okay. We will live. We have six days left in the drought. Uh, Power-wise, yeah, it's discharging pretty quickly, but uh, we do have the option to expand our power capacity here. So we'll keep doing that, and that is A-OK. -okay. Now I'm just sickeningly curious. Yep, we are just waiting on the giant half logs and the giant logs. Unfortunately, don't know that we're going to be able to. Of course, they can't build this. Wah, wah, wah. Cry me a river. I can't I can't reach it. Wah. Figure it out. <laughs> it's not that hard. I'll put that there. I guess I've just got to get a uh, path to come around here. And then that'll be in range. Come on. Now oh, it's in range. Cool. So again, I doubt that we can actually do anything with this, but, uh, wait, why are those logs disappearing? Those logs should not be disappearing. Oh no, I didn't want to, oh geez, what a, I did not want to unpause this. I did not want to unpause this. But it wasn't doing anything, so we're, what's happened to my logs, man? Where are my logs going? I'm saving those. Oh, wait. Am I stupid? They're probably taking them over here. That's literally the only other possible thing they could be doing with these. All right. Well, let's let's trust the process. 
channel our uh, NBA Twitter vibes, except don't do that because that's a very strange and toxic place. But, um... Okay, good. Good. I was about to be quite upset. <laughs> well, at least we have some of our giant logs. I know it's, it's going to take another 800 years worth of growing these things to get that done. But we might as well try, right? No sense in uh, getting upset or whatever about it. Waiting on logs here. Oh, we actually don't have very many. Hmm. Well, that is what it is. 89% there, 16%, 84%, 86%. Okay, so we'll have six more logs pretty soon. Too bad we need, I don't know, if you count the half logs, I guess we need uh, math, another 24. <laughs> it's not, not looking good. Not looking good, folks. But the good news is, completely unrelated, we should be able to make some frost bomb pretty soon. Because we have the ice blocks, we just need the minty bamboo shoots, which actually is going to take a little longer than I thought. It's going to be 20 some days, so maybe we'll have another time lapse. But yeah, minimum of 23 days at any point in time, just as soon as it touches water, then that clock will start. So you know what? I, I don't know. I said it was going to be a long video, so the people who don't like the long videos, I guarantee you are not watching this one, so... If you won't tell, I won't tell. But the, the runtime on the channel page certainly will. Yeah, let's get this water dump in place, get that going, and then uh, I don't know, I might go uh, take care of some stuff and come back in a couple hours and see what happens. But we'll get some water in here. We'll get them going with that, and I think that'll be a big improvement. There's not really that much else we can do. I mean, there okay, there's stuff we can do, but it, then it quickly becomes an issue of should we do this? And the answer a lot of the time is no. But hey, uh, we're getting, I think, maple pastries. Don't really have any, uh, don't really have any here. It's all in the, uh, the little, uh, what do you call this thing? Balloon Trader landing pads. Soon, hopefully, to go in the small warehouses here. Unless they just have to come in here to eat it, which I don't know they do. But we can check that by looking at our food stats. Yeah, 18 of them has some delicious maple pastries. I don't know what qualifies for amazing food. I probably should have even just asked. I don't know where the yuck is coming from unless they're eating the awful stew that we're supposed to be selling. Which, if that's the case, first of all, why would you do that to yourself? Second of all, stop stealing. That's bad. Um, let's see, what else could we... I, I mean, they can eat grapes. They can do it. I guess they just choose and not to. Other things would be easy for us to... Nobody's drinking the wine. What's up with that, man? Come on. We spent all this time making the wine. Have we really not made bread? Have we really not made bread? I can't even grow wheat. How am I supposed to make bread? Maybe that's just a, a leftover thing. Uh, dandelion tea, we kind of gave up on. I feel like that was one of these buildings over here. Cooking house. Uh, braised cabbage. Braised cabbage, that's storage. Um, I can make dandelion tea, spicy sodas as well. Um, braised cabbage, we have a decent bit of. If I go to dandelion tea, yeah, that's going to use a lot of water. Uh, do we have dandelions? I guess technically we do. No, we could, we could make a little bit. That's what this is supposed to be about, is uh, building different things you haven't messed with before and... Uh, Trying to get to some of the stuff you might not have had the chance to uh, mess with. Yeah, minty bamboo shoots will be our Achilles heel once again. But oh, look at all oh, this is cool. It's actually really neat. That's so I w I wonder what model they used for this, because I mean it looks pretty close to actual bamboo, except for you know the whole uh, inverted color scheme <laughs> kind of deal. But yeah, that's uh reminds me of going down to uh, we got a lake. Uh, near where I live, and I guess somebody planted a little bit of bamboo, and it just, of course, that stuff just spreads like wildfire. Uh, second only maybe to kudzu in the uh, southeastern United States in terms of uh, invasive plant. But hey, you can actually cut bamboo down and make stuff with it, and kudzu is just kind of there for erosion control, and I guess to feed goats. You, can, you know, you, you can actually rent a herd of goats 
to come clear your property where I live. That's astounding to me. I just saw, I saw an ad online for, hey, you can rent my goats. Look, I never in my life would have thought to rent goats. I don't know. Maybe that's something that you guys are more familiar with. I, know, I just, I could not stop laughing. <laughs> I saw the ad for rent my goats. Like, why would I rent your goats? And then I ask people about it. Like, you know, they're actually really good for erosion. Uh, or not erosion, but like the mitigation of um, uh, plant life and stuff that's overgrown on hills that are supposed to be for erosion control. Like kudzu and this and that and the other. And also goats are just kind of cool. But it still is never not going to be funny. So uh, all that being said, we've got some unbelievably tall bamboo seedlings oh they're two by twos they're two by twos oh did i make a mistake i might have made a mistake are they gonna plant more maybe i don't need to worry about it because i don't see uh oh that's literally at the <laughs> I didn't make a mistake. Well, I did. Um, but it seems the mistake was made for me. Let's expand our... Uh, <laughs> let's expand this, shall we? And uh, plant some more unbelie unbelievably tall bamboo. I clearly have erred in my, uh, my selection of where to put things. Well, that's fine. You live and you learn. And get it figured out. We might have to uh, might have to f might have to do something else here, but hey, at least we have one. Eleven percent of the way through a thirteen-day growth cycle gets us either eight logs. Ah, yes, gathered by a deprecated entity. I don't even know what that would be referencing, uh, but we can we can let it go again and uh, get some minty bamboo shoots. But first, I want to see if this is uh, gonna unlock some more plantable areas, or if I'm just an idiot. It's probably a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah, six more here. That should be fine. And then I think uh, we'll take another look around, but I I might actually time lapse a little bit to see if we can get our... Uh, our I, I don't even remember what the building's called. Uh, elevator to the Abyss. That's what it is. I just wish I knew what these two things were. It's so interesting. Alright, so that's going to be done there. Let's check. Oh, you're joking me. Alright, so I guess we're only going to have one more... Uh... <laughs> what a pain. Oh, man, the stairs. Uh, if I did a ladder, it wouldn't be any increase of range. I should have done this a lot closer. I really, I really should have. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare? Yeah, why not? Why not? It's the last, last episode. Come over here, demolish our, uh, <laughs> demolish our red grapevines, and blow up the hole to be even bigger, and then try to plant some more stinking bamboo over here. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna plant the bamboo. I'm gonna do it. I just have to, you know, actually get the rest of this removed. We're gonna, we're gonna have bamboo. We just have to wait. But uh, like I was saying previously, uh, I guess they're using the ice blocks. Or they just haven't gotten any more. Got 25 here. Oh, no, they're just stored here. All right, that works, I guess. But they really should put this in storage. Uh, this is getting the maple pastries. If I'm going to do a big time lapse, is there anything we want to automatically trade? Uh, we're making glass, so I guess we could do iron teeth, yeah. All right, we'll build a thing for the Iron Teeth. That's not going to be a problem. Come on, let me move around, please. Thank you. All right, that's going to work there. We'll undo this. There we go. And get that going. That's going to give us coffee, which has to have a liquid storage. Um, should I have the beavers come all the way over here just to get coffee? The answer is probably no. Uh, will I make them do it anyway? The answer is probably yes. That's dandelion tea. I don't know why I thought that was spelled wrong. It's not. Um, there's coffee. And then I'll put another one of these. Or actually, I could just uh, change this one from kimchi, spicy sodas, water. Uh, 
I'm not making spicy soda ever again. We'll just have that be copy. That'll be fine. This can be set to supply. There we go. They're going to get uh, glass for coffee. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. That's broken glass. Well, why does it have a bone picture? That's not what broken glass looks like. And that's not what the lore says either. Um, bones of the dead. So they have glass bones and paper skin every night they wake up. What, what's that SpongeBob clip? That's old SpongeBob. Is that the chocolate episode? I feel like it has to be the chocolate episode. I, I would almost pay any amount of money to have been a fly on the wall in that writer's room during the first four seasons of that show before the movie. That is just some of the most wild nonsense that ever, ever aired on kids' TV. Outside of maybe Ren and Stimpy, that was, a, that was a little shocking what they got away with there. But I digress. I am not a, uh, I'm not a censor for children's entertainment. All right, I'm going to remove this ladder, and I'm going to blast this down and put a too tall ladder here instead. Uh, which I guess I don't have to wait to do. There's no rule that says I have to do that. So let's make that a priority. Get this done, and then uh, we will have a time lapse to try and gather some bamboo stuff, and so on and so forth. I think the bamboo actually uh, actually spreads. I couldn't tell you for sure, but I would imagine it probably does. But I did not know it was a two by two. That is uh, just a little frustrating for the uh, the layout of this, I guess. Uh, but I digress. And again, it's the uh, end of the playthrough. It none of this matters. It it really does not matter. So we're we're just out here having a good time. They're going through this chestnut beer. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. King of the Hill is a great show. Uh, we are sending, uh, oh, we're not sending. That was one of the things we could send to the folktales, uh, to get the cursed scrolls of forbidden magic, or was I misremembering? No, it was the island beavers to get the seashells, which I don't really know what those do. So we probably don't need to mess with that, but I might anyway. Yeah, why not? What else am I going to do? What else am I going to do? So let's, uh, let's, let's just do it. Hit send. Let's go unlock all these things. So then I can... Oh, I can actually just have this come all the way back around here. There we go. Why not set this uh, recipe to seashells? She sells seashells by the seashore. 23 unemployed beavers. I probably... Yeah, you know I probably should turn these back on. Or at least the ones over here. No, those are already on. Okay. Um, maybe I don't need to worry about it, but I will. I will turn at least some of these back on. Please do not crash. Thank you. Yeah, I'll turn. I'll turn those six back on. That should be fine. Uh, Water-wise, we're looking good. Uh, we're looking good food-wise, at least in this district. Let's check. Bramble Dam. Yeah, water is looking good. Food's looking good. Um, the distillery by contrast, has mostly grapes and almost nothing else, but is also looking just fine for everything else. That's the end of the drought. Yeah, let's... I, I, I gotta get this bamboo in here, man. Come on. Come on, put this put this one explosives right here. Just, just the one. Come on. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's a little tiny bamboo. I didn't even notice that. That's actually kind of cool. A dandelion, it's got the... Uh, got the brambles. Is that a palm tree? Wait, we can't grow palm trees, can we? No. That is a neat model, though. That's cool. All right. That's done. Now let's check. Yes, I can actually, I can actually plant a bamboo here. All right, unbelievably tall bamboo. Let's see what they end up planting here. Yep, there we go. And then I will get that in place. Yeah, look at us go. Look at us go. How far over does this go? All right. Plant this one in the corner. It's kind of hard to see unless you zoom in. And they get this guy. Oh, man. It planted it in the middle. Oh, well. I'm not going to not gonna lose sleep over it. Just the way she goes. I should have maybe 
clicked a little bit further in the corner. But we are going to have in the next, I don't know, 17, 18 days, going to have some minty bamboo shoots. Which I guess I now have to force import into main district proper. If I can find these on the list here. Um, I guess they would be minty because it looks like a uh, like something that would come out of a tube of toothpaste. Where? Can, am I just dumb? Where are the where are the bamboo shoots? I I, I gotta be missing something. That's not. That's not. That's not. I feel like it should be, unless the game treats it as a material. Uh, no. It's not a wood product. It's not a liquid. It's not a question mark. What, what is this? Nuclear waste. Yeah, there we go. That's what I... I, I want a search bar so bad for the district crossing. I'm going to have to go through all of these, and I guarantee you someone in the comments has already posted... Why are you not able to see where that is? But that's fine. Seashells. I already knew about those. What in the heck is this? Oh, shell necklace. Okay, I wonder if that's like an arts and crafts thing you can make. Oh my god, seriously. All right, minty bamboo shoots. There we go. Solves that problem. And we have a couple more logs. What are we missing here? Oh, we only have six out of the 12. Um, I guess... I guess we just kind of have to uh, set this to do the half logs and then uh, monitor it. That's going to give us two half logs per regular log. I mean, uh, obviously that's how that works. Should not have been a surprise. Uh, but I got to, I just, I'm so nervous to leave this alone for like, I don't know, half an hour, an hour in real life and see uh, see what happens after because I just am not confident. Wait, why do we have so few uh, so few metal fasteners? Oh, that's because we've had all these things paused. All right, all right. If I'm gonna leave this actually unoccupied for a while, I've gotta have gotta have this reversed. We'll just turn these back on. The wild uh, population swings are back at it again. Wait, why are they? All right, I'm just not gonna ask any questions. We've got five empty jobs here. Okay, not really that surprising. Uh, 12 unfulfilled jobs. 10 extra... We don't need 10 extra beavers in this district. But I also can't really close housing, so how am I gonna... How am I gonna get away with that? I don't know. Stilt house. I can't really pause housing. That's cheating. Uh, Forester... Pro, I mean, I guess we do need to replant the Everblossoms. Uh, Tapper's Shack is... Getting pine resin, which we kind of don't need. I don't know. I really, uh, I really don't need to have these extra beavers here. So I can, I can't just go ahead and send ten of them over to the main district, and hopefully that helps fill in some of our holes here. Yeah. See, now I got homeless beavers as the problem. So what? <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, I need more housing here, not less. Now that is just. Unbelievable, probably, but uh, we could figure out why have they not? Oh, I didn't have a chemistry set. I mean, I'm just finding all sorts of different things that I haven't done yet. Uh, Handicrafters Lodge. Who makes a chemi Who makes a chemistry set? Is that a mechan? It wouldn't be mechanics. I figured it would have been a Handicrafters set, but maybe Handicrafters Handicrafters Lodge. All right, now we get to go back through this whole thing again of who makes what. Um, where? The alchemist requires a chemistry set, but who makes the chemistry set? It can't be under industrial, right? No, it's none of those. This really, this really should not be... It should not be there. Oh, are you serious? It has to get me no. What? That's a pain. I'm never going to be able to do a time lapse like this. It's made in the factory. Chemistry set. Oh, it only takes 13 hours, and we have all the uh, 
all the methane and we can have easy access to the quartz. So I guess we'll just wait for them to make one chemistry set and then we'll move on with our lives. I know I've been I've been saying, hey, we're going to do a time lapse for like the last 10, 15 minutes and it hasn't happened yet. But that's the way she goes. It's the dawn of a new day and now they can finally come in here and make this stinking chemistry set. Assuming they, you know, actually have quartz, which we do. We have like 800 some of it. So that's going in there. Put that quartz in there and make me a chemistry set, please, so I can leave this uh, leave this alone, let it idle for a while, and we'll figure out where to go from there. So I'm not going to ask you what you want to see next because this is the last episode and that would be stupid, but uh, if you have any favorite, uh, favorite moments of the playthrough, I'd love to see those. Uh, stuff you liked, stuff you didn't like, stuff you would like to see me do differently or better in the second playthrough. Keep in mind the water beavers in update five have been substantially reworked because of the bad water and the bad tide mechanics. And some of the fun stuff that had to go away because of different things in the game changing. Uh, like I believe all of the irrigation tower and irrigation tower adjacent buildings uh, no longer exist. And there's, there's other stuff, other changes, some interesting additions as well. Uh, if you've been following the crazy stuff uh, that has been uh, posted in the Water Beaver mod channel over on the Timberborn Discord. Uh, you'll have some sort of an idea. But uh, would love to have your input on that. I'm just hoping we can get this uh, chemistry set sooner rather than later. Unless they already have it and I'm just dumb. Uh, yep, and that's your uh, that's your answer is they already had it and I'm just dumb. But uh, now we can actually have this one finished and then I'll turn it over. Then we will do a time lapse. And we will see if we can get our uh, elevator to the abyss going a little bit. All right, there we go. Back to drill bits you go. And just so we're all on the same page. Four out of 16 half logs, eight out of 12 giant logs. All right, so I like our chances. Get that hooked up, that should be fine. And then uh, these guys are growing, albeit slowly, 39%, 38% there, 0%, 6%, 82%. All right, so it could be... Uh, could be a little bit of a trek for us to get where we want to go. I uh, still don't have any minty bamboo shoots, as far as I can tell. We're only 65% of the way through this. But I am very interested to see what other kind of fun stuff we can get ourselves into. But I will leave this up on half logs uh, so they can do what they've got to do. And... We'll, uh, I guess, see you back on the other side of this. Water-wise, we're in great shape. Food-wise, we're in great shape. I don't think we're going to have any problems for me just kind of uh, running this for a while. But I guess we'll see. I'll turn the HUD off so we can watch the fun of beavers just kind of going everywhere. And at some point, uh, we'll come back in and we'll see if we can get that uh, that thing going. I already forgot what it's called. Elevator to the Forbidden Abyss, Depths, whatever you want to call it. But I digress. Uh, by the time I'm done talking, we will be back on the other side of this time lapse. So we'll see you in just a few. And we are back. Finally, it has been multiple hours since I uh, started this time lapse. I actually had to stop it and just let the game run at 30 times speed for quite a while to even get to this point. But, but... We just need two more half logs, and I believe we should have those momentarily based off of uh, what I've been seeing coming out of uh, this tree growing area and our stock right here. So as soon as that happens, we're going to have our elevator to the abyss and we can choose either nuclear waste or human relics. I think I want to go with this one. I don't know, it just seems like a better choice than nuclear waste. Uh, we have these other two buildings. I'm not really sure what these do. So we'll uh, we'll figure out figure out what happens. The, I mean, they both get water, but one requires power, and one doesn't. So I don't really uh, don't really understand what's going on there. But uh, regardless, we should pretty pretty quickly here, assuming uh, that this actually decides to you know cut anything, should see this get complete, and that's going to be fantastic. Finally, 
finally have that done, but I digress. Uh, this is what the bamboo looks like fully grown. You would have seen in the time lapse uh, before I cut that off. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really something. We got all these balloons. I know you guys saw those uh, taking off and landing, but we've actually been sending a pretty significant amount of food out through the balloons. Uh, awful stew, believe it or not, does still take stuff that we would otherwise use, uh, like the water bramble flowers and dandelions. Then, of course, we have trading out the folktales for the maple pastries, uh, which we don't really have. I think they get eaten as soon as they come in. But uh, we've been sending mushroom stew and vegetables stew, and those take uh, resources to make. So our actual food stored in this district is pretty low. It's only at 2,600 right now. It's much higher. But, uh, yeah, chestnut beer has been going pretty well. We've got some seashells. I don't really know what we can do with those outside of uh, perhaps... Yeah, we can go into the uh, Handicrafter's Lodge and make some shell necklaces. Might be kind of a fun thing to do, so we'll set that up a little bit. I should have had that set up during this time lapse, but I completely forgot. Um, we, of course, are still getting the pineapples from the Jungle Beavers with our metal fasteners, so on and so forth. Uh, we could get exotic seeds, but we don't need any more of those. So I think we're going to just not do that. Uh, and I'm actually going to pause... Or I don't even have to pause. I'll just say none for the Jungle Beaver recipes because uh, we are just hemorrhaging metal fasteners faster than we can make them. I don't, I don't think we really need to use them. But if we want them to build some more stuff in these last few moments of this playthrough, then uh, we don't want to be sending them out. But this is done. Glorious, glorious building design. You can see the different tiers and stuff, which is really, really cool. So that's cool. We're getting human relics. Um... What we do with those, I could not tell you, but, but we will have them. I'm going to put this back into uh, regular logs from the giant trees, so we don't need any more half logs. But yeah, um, yeah, we got 10 beavers working here. We're getting human relics, and uh, that's that. Oh, and you can see the elevator come up. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, how did I miss this before? Is it going to go back down? I guess they have to come back in and... Uh, Oh, man, no, I want to watch this. I didn't even know there's an elevator. I mean, I guess it makes sense. These are little pulleys here. Man, that's cool. <laughs> oh, man, that is that is super awesome. I'm so excited by this. <laughs> oh, man, I, I love I love this kind of stuff. So now let's decide, do we want to build um, a deep mine mech module template or do we want to build a deep mine module template? I'm assuming mech would be mechanical. It consumes power, but um, let's build the one that doesn't have power, I guess. I don't know. It would be really sad if that crashed the game because this is not something that I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, fortunately, autosave exists. But man, I want to see. Let's get let's get triple speed. I want to see the uh, I want to see the beavers go down the elevator. That is such a cool thing. Such a cool thing. All right, hurry up, hurry up, daytime. I want, I want to watch these beavers do stuff. Come on, come on. All right, now come in here, get on the elevator and go down. I want to watch it descend. All right, so we got one beaver. We got two beavers. Oh, there it goes. Okay, sorry, you missed the elevator, bud. That goes all the way down. Oh, he just teleports to the elevator. Okay, that's, uh, okay, bye. Bye bye. It's down in the. Uh, oh, okay, I guess we could just do this. So it just goes all the way down there. That's still really cool. <laughs> what a what a cool model, man. Hold up. What in the? How? What? All right, hold on. I can't. I can't handle that freaking noise. What in the? You know what is this? Has to be on top of other buildings. But, but where? Did I... What? How does this... Alright. Hold on, hold on. Is this possibly one of those things we have to put way down here? Or is it... It's not going to let me do that, is it? Well, that's a shame. Because I really, I really want to put this in here, but I don't think it's going to let me. Deep Mine Module. What about this one? Okay, that's... 
mechanized. It's got a it's got an output. Oh no, it lets me do that. So what's up? Oh, so it only goes in these. Uh, I guess if I have to put it in the right spot. Okay. So that uses it gets water. So how do I? Uh, no, that's not a power. That's just a window. So um. Oh, that's going to be cool. If I can actually get water out of this. Oh, that must be... Oh, these are boarded up doorways. That's what that is. All right. Maybe I'm not so stupid. All right, come on. Let me let me put this in here. Oh, okay. Well, let's build those six for now. Let's let's give these guys something to do. Build those six. And we'll see, uh, we'll see if we start getting water out of it. Because if we do, that's going to be fantastic. That's going to be huge for this playthrough that's about to end in just a few minutes. <laughs> but uh, good to know that that's how that works. Man, I'm just so impressed with this mod. Just the amount of stuff that has gone into this is just absolutely bonkers, man. It's just unbelievable. Uh, we could take a look at our... Uh, let's see, surgery kits. We're making... Uh... Oh, we're out of... Uh, really? Oh, that's going to be stupid if we're actually out of tools, because I decided to be dumb. Um, what building makes the tools? Handicrafters? No. <laughs> Remember when I spent like two episodes trying to figure out how to make tools? Yeah, me too. We're making tools, and we're not because we don't have scrap metal. We're doing... Um, are we... What do you mean you can't get coal? We have so much coal. We're mining so much coal. What's going on? What's going on here? Um, oh, we're full of dirt. Okay. Um, cool. So I guess that means we have to, uh, we have to have some uh, dirt coming in here. There we go. That'll keep them busy. Get that dirt and uh, get it on out. There's no reason to really build that there, but I figured I'd do it anyway just to get rid of some dirt here. All right, so that might explain why we didn't have any more uh, coal over there. Man, I wish I would have uh, wish I would have done that earlier. Oh, and I also missed uh, showing you guys before that this has been technically closed off. I know some people are like, oh, it's not it's not all the way in. You're losing your power. It's, it's, it's fine. We're making plenty of power. That's, that's really all that matters. I guess I could have... Uh, could have maybe tended to those while we're doing our time lapse, but I didn't really feel like it. Okay, so uh, these guys, yeah, they're um, oh, the workplace. Okay, he says with sixty-four open <laughs> open jobs, but um, I I guess I guess this can make uh, make water, maybe maybe. All right, bud, where are you? I don't see your your blue body walking around. Oh, you're starving and dehydrated. You might want to fix that, bud. All right, so get something to eat, get something to drink, and then you can go to work. That's okay. Or you can just go to work starving and hungry. That's I, not advisable. I would not choose to make that decision, but... Okay, there he goes. All right, now are you, you're going to go into your... Uh, this i'm not going to read all that all right and yeah cool that is a cool building so every if you fully uh fully kitted this out you could put two more on the back that's eight so you would be making 24 uh 24 water per hour with this bad boy i believe three per hour per unit times eight should be 24 last time i checked that's what that meant. But yeah, man, this is a cool building. I really, really like that. I'm, I'm guessing the mechanical one, it doesn't have any... Uh, it doesn't have any change in the speed at which it gets water, but maybe there's a... I don't know, some other benefit to it? I don't know. I kind of want to... Uh, uh, see, it, I don't think it's going to let me... Uh, let me put this in here. Or maybe that's just one of those that's bugged. Obviously, it's not going to work that way. All right. Well, I know there's at least one or two of you in the comments who have played 
a lot more of this mod than I have, so please do let me know if the uh, this thing but me mechanized with the uh, 50 HP requirement actually works. Let's see, do anything, I could just be doing this wrong. But man, that is impressive. Very, very cool stuff. So, I mean, I don't really know what else to what else to do, what else to say, what else to tell you. It's cycle 48, day 12. Uh, that time lapse took several cycles. And the stuff that I cut out uh, took a few more after that. But, um, yeah, I mean, as far as as far as I'm concerned, we're done. Uh, we've more or less beaten the water beavers. I know there's more stuff we could do. There's stuff we hadn't gotten into. Uh, but I, I don't need to show you guys what carousels and mud baths look like. That's just a thing. Our average well-being in our main district is 28. It was higher, but I think... Uh, I think we did suffer a little bit at the hands of uh, just time-lapsing this for several cycles and losing some of our uh, different types of foods because we've been exporting. Uh, so why don't I just... Uh, why don't I just pause trading with the folktales for right now? Uh, see if we can accrue a little bit more of our stew. Accrue the stew. Yeah, that's a stupid rhyme for no reason. And then the uh, seashells. I think we might have made a couple of... Uh, couple of necklaces. Let's check with our handicrafters lodge. John Hanks over here handcrafting some lovely shell necklaces for us. But I don't see where they are, so I I guess they got consumed. I not eaten, obviously, but um I th I feel like I just saw that. Oh there it is. Yeah. Seven out of five hundred and twenty two beavers in this district had access to shell necklaces, so I guess that's uh something. But yeah, um, what else What else would you want me to do? <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's a good place to end it. We, we got a whole lot of stuff accomplished. Uh, we really, really did. We learned a whole new mod and got to see a whole bunch of really, really cool stuff. Uh, we've got antibiotics being made. We've got frost bombs. In theory, I know they're harvesting these uh, minty bamboo shoots, but I'm... I kind of fear they haven't made it out of this district. Uh, but I don't see them here, so... I was, I was sure that I had that set to actually uh, force import into Beaverburg 12. Yeah, yeah, I did. So, I mean, I, I guess they've been using them. We just haven't really... Uh, I haven't really seen too much out of that. But, again, uh, what else? What else is there to do? Uh, we just... We just did what we did. We had a good time. Really, really fun. Really fun playing this mod. Uh, I know the Update 5 stuff is going to be a big change for this, but I'm excited for it. I think it should be a whole lot of fun. And uh, based on feedback, I think I'm going to do at least the beginning of uh, the Update 5 Water Beavers as a video. And then we might transition it over to live stream after the first couple of episodes. Uh, but I, I think it's going to perform a lot better in video form and... Uh, allow it to be a little bit more accessible than just live stream format where we have a whole lot of fun but people do tend to uh, drag me off topic considerably they're not really uh not really that fun to rewatch as a vod versus being there live so uh we'll see what happens i'll let you guys know might even put it up to a vote in the uh community tab but um yeah uh, again we we did a lot we did a whole a lot of stuff we more or less did just about everything i wanted to do and then uh a little bit more. I did not think I was going to get this thing going, but I mean, we have we have human relics. Don't don't know what we really do with those, but we have them. I don't know if that's part of the well-being. Human runes tour. Um, yeah. I I mean, I guess we can take a a quick scan through some of these to see if they use the relics as a uh, a component of building or. Something I don't know. Just would be very interesting to see uh, the progression of all this other stuff. But I believe that is well and truly, absolutely, positively, everything we're gonna do. I'm not gonna build the monuments. Look, we 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 know what these look like. We know what these look like. You know what? I lied. I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a stupid here, and uh, 
Oh, I guess I can't actually. Well, maybe not then. Maybe I won't build it on top because I got to do all this other garbage. I don't know. I'm I'm bad at ending ending these things because I I always always want to just do one more thing. So I guess we'll hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta we gotta rotate that guy around so we can look over here, and then we'll do the the brazier of bonding on this side. Why not? Why not? Why not? We'll just we'll just do both of those and uh, call it a day. We have all the materials ready to go. Just got to get the builders up here to do it. I'm not going to attempt to do the Fountain of Joy. It's 12,000 science. I don't have 12,000 science. It would take us probably another 10 cycles to get it. But we'll let him do that. So I guess this is where we leave it while we watch him build that. Uh, again, huge, huge thanks to you for watching this. Um, it's a really long video. By the time it's done, it might be the longest video I've ever put up. But uh, those of you who are diehard enough with uh, this series to watch this, I know you appreciate it, and I appreciate you being here. Appreciate the Beard Boosters as well for all of their fantastic support. And to the wonderful mod maker of the uh, Water Beavers for giving us all this incredible stuff to play with. Fantastic job. Thanks very much for sharing with us. And uh, of course, all of you who've offered help, who've uh, had the knowledge of this mod through the... Uh, previous iterations and everything so i will look forward to seeing you again hopefully soon for water beavers and update five might might give it a little bit of time before we start it back up uh try to maybe get these other series wrapped up and move on to some other interesting new games that aren't beavers i know shocker there seems like all we've done for the past nine ten months on this channel is play timberborn but hey you guys like it i like it it's fine but we can't do the same thing forever. Uh, let's check on how we're doing here. 128 out of 200. I love that he just peeks his like head up right here, facing the wrong way, but that's fine. Yep, that'll be done soon, and then they're going to get to that guy. So yeah, there you go. We will uh, most certainly have some more fun doing other stuff. Uh, if you haven't been able to tell, I have... Uh, What's the, what's the term? Time-lapsed yet again? What, the third time in this video? Uh, building these monuments, but yeah. Uh, that is quite enough time. I have had this game running for like five or six hours. It's time for me to go to bed and put this series to bed as well. So again, thanks very much. I really appreciate you. Hope you have uh, whatever you're doing. Fun and a safe time, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.